regular schmegular shirt. Yeah, you look cute. Regular. We're recording. Okay. This is my first ever story time, and this is featuring Serena. Yeah, she's gonna be sharing. Well, she's gonna be telling part of the story with me. And as you guys already know from the title, <laughs> that this is a story about. Chantel Jeffries and Sarah Snyder, but mostly Chantel Jeffries because I was a fan before the day I met Chantel oh, right. and although Sarah was there too, I was never really a super fan of her. I just knew who she was. So let's begin the story. Okay, so on Tuesday, today's Saturday, so on Tuesday we yeah. were walking through Soho. Mm -hmm. Because I had an event with Nude Wear, which is a lingerie line, and they also do like daisy, like pasty <laughs> things. It was a cool event. Unfortunately, I didn't get that many pictures, but whatever. So I was coming from that event, and we were walking down the street, and guess who we see? Ah, oh, Chantel and Sarah. Yeah, so we see both of them. Like, I was kind of caught off guard at first because I was just walking down the street. I wasn't expecting to see anybody, but yeah, we when I past. saw her, Go ahead. Well, we walked past and she was like, <gasps> and then I didn't really even like recognize them. And then I looked back and I was like, oh shoot, that is her. Yeah. So we walked past and then what we do? Okay, so we walked past them and Chantel was on her phone the first time we saw her. So I was kind of trying to go up to her, but then she was on the phone. So then I was like, whatever. So then I kept walking straight. Mm -hmm. And um, then we were like, oh my God, that was Chantel. And there was this girl who was in front of us and she didn't really know who she was. So mm -hmm. she was like, wait, who is that? And then he was kind of telling her that, you know, she used to be seen with Justin Bieber and blah, blah, blah. And um, so since I'm such a, since I was such a fan of Chantel, I'm like, why don't we go back, you know, to see if we could get a picture? Like, a part of me didn't want to do it because, you know, some people act a little shady. But I was like, I'd rather go up to her and at least get the chance to meet somebody who is a favorite of mine. We decided to walk around the block to see if we could bump into them again. Okay, so we spot them. We walk past them again, and before that we were like, oh, you say hi first, you say yeah. hi. She said hi first, um, but looking back on it now, like we realized it seemed like they were actually trying to avoid us. Like yeah. They were like off to the side, they are like walking around, they were yeah. going to walk around, and then we were like, hey, like, hey. Yeah. And then... Yeah, so when we was like, <laughs> we was trying to like stop them, like it was yeah. so awkward, like even trying to stop them, because I was like, wait, because they were still, I stopped Chantel first and then Sarah kind of moved off to the side and you could tell she was still trying to walk but I was like wait I know who you are you're <laughs> Chantel and I know you too you're Sarah Snyder and they yeah. were just like doing a weird little smile then I was like um I was speaking to Chantel and I was just like I've been such a fan of you I watch your YouTube videos and there was this one YouTube video where people were saying you act like this girl Alyssa who's a vlogger and I was defending you and I was saying that sometimes when you hang around somebody so much you just start acting like them and she, I was like oh do you remember that comment because the comment had got 181 likes and she shouldn't tell herself even commented back so I was like do you remember that comment she was like yeah I think I do and I was just kind of like okay <laughs> So then, this is where the story gets interesting. So, how can I explain this? There's this girl that she hangs out with, or that she used to be really friends with, called Cassidy Jordan. And way before I met Chantel, I was speaking to Cassidy via Instagram, because I work at AOL, and I'm trying to get her to do some brand ambassadorship with this brand in AOL. So I was speaking to Cassidy just earlier that day. I never spoke to Cassidy before today. So it was so funny when I ran into Chantel and I was like, um, I just finished speaking to your friend Cassidy. So then I look at Chantel and Chantel's like, I have no idea who that is. Sarah's like, yeah, sometimes people just act like they know us. Like, and I was like, okay, well, since they didn't recognize the name, I was like, let me show them a picture of her because you got to recognize like somebody's face. There's a lot of Cassidy's in the world. <laughs> Whatever. So then I show her the picture and she's like, no, I'm sorry. She's, what did she say exactly? Um, I think I, I showed know. her the picture and she was just like, no, I don't know who that is. Nope, never seen her. She said something like that. But for real, look up Cassidy. Jordan online and like pictures of her with, with Chantel, Chantel come up. up like first of all she definitely knew who that was because right. 
they were best friends like they have not one picture not two pictures not three pictures they have several pictures together and i was literally just speaking to cassie like maybe two or three hours before we bumped yeah. into chantel so then she's like oh she doesn't know the girl and then she, then Chantel says something like, oh, we have to go meet up with, like, friends, right? Yeah. She's oh, like, yeah. We were, like, really, like, we were talking around about it. And then she's like, okay, let's take this picture. I'm supposed to meet up with friends. Yeah. So we were like, okay. Yeah, yeah that was, like, when I knew. She was already acting shady the whole time, but that's when I knew, like, she wasn't as authentic as she says she is. On Snapchat, you would think she's so sweet, so silly. On Instagram, she's like, you know she seems like a people person she seems like she's friendly yeah. but in person she was just like let's take the picture so then i'm just like okay whatever i guess i can take a picture so she doesn't get in the picture because obviously like she was taking a picture i think at this time she saw that she was already shady like it's hard for me to see that she was shady while i'm talking to her but like the fact that she was standing behind watching it she could tell like that there was just like absolute bad vibes yeah. so she takes the picture and like I'm moving close into Chantel because I don't like taking pictures with people I like and then it looks like we're so distant, you know? <laughs> so I'm moving to close to Chantel and I put my arm around Chantel and Chantel like touches me like right here. So she like on the lower back, so she does touch me. But then like as you see in the picture, which I'm gonna probably post like right here, um, Sarah was like standing off to the side. Like she didn't really want to touch me. Like you can tell when people don't wanna like touch you. Then we take the picture and then yeah, and then I guess we pretty much stayed by, and I guess that's, like, the yeah. whole story. The whole thing, though, was so awkward. Like, mm -hmm. I was over it, like, basically from the beginning when we first started talking to them. Because, it was, like, just the vibes were not okay. Like, they were so awkward. And yeah. It, it was standoffish, like, a bunch. I was not feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. My battery's dying, though. That sucks. Yeah. But hopefully we can finish this. So I'm just going to wrap up the story because Serena had to leave. And basically, the rest of the story is just my opinion on what I formulated about Chantel. Bottom line is Cassidy is a really nice person and to say that you don't know her is just very rude. If you guys are no longer friends, you should just say, you know, we're no longer friends. Or you, when I asked her, did she know her? She could just say, yeah, like something plain and simple as yeah. I felt like she went out of her way to just kind of humiliate me in the situation. And it was really sad because I really, when I say I'm, I was a Chantel Jeffries fan, like I watched all her videos. I've been rocking with her since she used to model for Fine Ass Girls with Drea. I've been watching everything through the Justin Bieber stuff. Um, when she came out with her brow, her brow kit, I was 100% supportive. And I felt like when you finally meet somebody who inspired a lot of what you do and they turn out to be like, very standoffish and like ooh don't touch me and they just give off like shady vibes it just really it's just this is what I was talking about in my video why I hate celebrities and you guys if you didn't watch that video the link is gonna be in the description box below definitely go check that out that video explains everything that happens they think they're too good and they just think that they're better and, and after just speaking to other people i realized that this is who chantelle is as a person um she's not as authentic as she seems on snapchat which i really really loved her snapchat or her youtube she's just not the person that you see and that doesn't surprise me because that happens with a lot of celebrities i just expected more from chantelle i really had high hopes when i first saw her i was super excited i thought she was going to be really sweet um but she wasn't and it's okay but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you ever do bump into her, just know that you might not get what you're expecting. And um, I don't know if anybody ever met her, but she's really not genuine. You can just tell that she's just like, I'm over this. Like, I just want to hang around with other famous people. Like, you can just tell. Like, I was always very good at reading people. That's not people that I want to look up to and that's not people who I want to ever meet and I just hope that you guys never have this encounter with any other celebrity because it was really heartbreaking and I really loved her and I'm so sad I'm gonna end the story time because I don't even like doing stuff like this like I like to keep my channel pretty positive I mean I do have my why I hate series but it's never really like on one person in particular but this one I it really bothered me it really bothered me I pray that she becomes a better person because she is very beautiful. Oh my, I didn't say that because I was so like blinded by her, her rudeness. 
and by her standoff-ish personality, but she's very beautiful. And I just pray that as she grows older, she just learns how to treat her fans better because fans are the ones who support and put these YouTubers and these Instagram models in their positions. We support them. We follow them. We, we are the reason why they are where they are. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes and that's okay too. If you hate this video, give it a thumbs down if that's what you choose to do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is going to be the last video I would do like this. If I ever meet any other nasty celebrities, I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm not even going to approach them though, to be honest. But if I ever work with them at my job, I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm just over singling people out. But this one, it really hit close to home. This is Tashay Lauren and I am out. Peace. And Chantal's really short in person. We both Aww. expected her to be like way taller. I'm like 5'3", and she was like a little, like maybe half inch taller than me.